listen, Glenn, I'm really trying to be open-minded here because you are a perfect fit for this position, but with a sealed record, we can't exactly move forward just yet. Absolutely. I understand your concern. I initially agreed to meet with you because I have tremendous respect for Lydia, but you know as well as I do that I'm going to need full disclosure if I'm going to step up to bat for you with the board. I appreciate the chance to explain. It's not one that I'm given often. It all started when I went to visit my parents for my dad's birthday. Hey, Pop. Sorry I'm late. Happy birthday. I'm just glad you're here, Glenn. Where is everyone? Well, Adam got stuck with the patient and Lynn is, um... She's joined a cult. I'm sorry, what? Would you like something to eat, sweetie? No, Mom. I want to talk about how my sister joined a cult. Oh well, she's been with him for quite a while now. About three months, wouldn't you say? Yep, that's about right. Was anyone going to tell me about this? We're telling you now, aren't we? Mom! You mean you haven't talked to your sister in three months? Glenn! We've both been busy, Mom, and honestly, that's not entirely relevant right now. You really should call her more often. Well, can I call her now? Where is she? What sort of cult are we talking about? Is it Jonestown or Freemasonry? Get off it, Glenn. You preached a liberal agenda to those degenerates at the high school. Yeah, Dad. My respectable job as an educator is on par with joining a cult. So, you were arrested for losing touch with your sister? Uh, not exactly. But trust me, this is necessary exposition. How could you be so nonchalant about this? They make her happy, Glenn. Just like those hoodlums at your school make you happy. We don't get involved there either. My job does not pose a threat to my safety. Lana's in a cult. Of course she thinks she's happy. At first it's all barefoot frolicking and <laughs> free love. Next thing you know, She's cloaked in a bunker, drinking goat's blood out of a horn skull. Lana would never get involved with something so dark, Glenn. I think she said something about Michigan. Michigan? When I think of voodoo magic group marriage compound, Michigan isn't the first place that comes to mind. Good hunting in Michigan. Lots of room to frolic and shit like that. You've never been to Michigan. Does Adam know about this? Of course. Adam visited her a month ago, said she's doing real well for herself. Like Adam would know? I'm gonna go talk to him. But it's your father's birthday. Here. Two tickets to see Fleetwood Mac at the Thunderdome. They're doing a revival tour. Wow, thank you, Glenn. I figured, you know, mom loves them, you don't love anything, you should do something together. Or maybe mom could go with Barb and you can have the couch all to yourself. I'm sure your mom and Barb would love to drool over this Stevie guy and his fleet of lumberjacks. This was semi-thoughtful, Glenn. Thank you. Lumberjacks. Right. Well, regardless of what you do, Happy birthday. Listen, I consider myself a gypsy right along with Stevie, but I'm failing to find the relevance here. I assure you, Stevie Nicks is relevant. <laughs> Mrs. Robinson, how are we today? Mm-hmm. Now, let's talk about this infection, hmm? Glenn, what the hell? Hey, bro. Did Mom and Dad tell you about Lana? 
Gwen? This is my office. A doctor's office. You can't just stop in here to have a chat. I'm working. Seriously, Adam? I'm being serious. You can't be here. God, God take your feet off of those, please. God, unless you have something to tell me. I think Lana is in trouble. What trouble could she possibly get into at a summer camp? To be honest, I think it's great. She was really struggling to find that... Whoa, 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 whoa. You know... Summer camp? No, Mom and Dad said it was a cult. Well, I guess I just assumed it was a summer camp. <laughs> what made you assume that? I don't know. It seemed pretty campy to me when I saw her last month. A lot of kumbaya and bonfires. Cults? And summer camps are completely different. One is fun, the other is satanic. Ow. God. First off, put the speculum down. Do you even know what that's for? Now I have to sterilize that again? Jesus. And secondly, it's not like Lana sold her soul. All she is doing is making paper flowers. You know, like a, a gypsy on the side of the highway. And it seems to be making her happy. So leave her be. Did you just hear yourself? Our sister is selling paper flowers on the side of a highway. You calm down. These people are as mellow as it gets. They don't have anything to worry about. Yeah, because they're probably submitting themselves to a frontal lumbotomy without even knowing it. This is what she wants. Just let it go. No, dude, just... Just please give me the address. At the very least, I need to see for myself that she's safe. Why don't we call her first, before you go all the way out there? If she doesn't pick up, we'll both go visit her. How about that? Hmm? We're sorry. You have reached a number that has been disconnected or is no longer in service. I'll drive. So, you went to visit a cult. I'm still waiting for the illegal activity, but admittedly, you have my attention, so go on. See? A bonfire. And look, flowers. It's just a summer camp, Glenn. It doesn't look like anyone's around. Do you hear that? Yeah, I do. It's getting dark soon. Why don't you go check on the trailer since it doesn't seem like anyone's here. I'm gonna go see where that smoke's coming from. If they start heading back this way, I'll signal you. But, yeah, but you do realize that it's the first guy that leaves that ends up in a body bag, right? That's a chance I'm willing to take.
Glenn? What are you doing here? I was about to ask you the same thing. I knew the white witch would leave you home. No! Glenn, I no longer conform to mainstream conventions like birth names and taxes. I answer to the Anna. The name and the melody. Okay, Rhiannon, look, I just Shh. think- Here, let me show you what words cannot. Brothers and sisters! Just like the white winged dove. Friendly fire reaps no benefit. Family to all, brothers uh. and sisters. Rhiannon, find Skylark. You know this interloper as intimately as family? Kinship by blood. My fearless captain, release him to me. His passive energy can do no harm. As you wish, my lark. <laughs> Brother, this is my home. This is my family. These people gave me Rhiannon. Can't you see that? <clears throat> All right. Well, <clears throat> as a member of your real family, I would um like the chance to meet this family that apparently has given you such a uh, profound understanding of yourself. Glenn, that would be so magical. Brothers and sisters, a neophyte is among us and desires to stand and soar among those taken by the sky. Rhiannon, my lark, please remain with our guests as I prepare the goat carcass and fetch the blessed speculum. And dreams and wine, loves his state of mind. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> hey. Stop! Interloper! As you can imagine, the word speculum sent a fresh wave of adrenaline coursing through my veins. Something sort of took over my body, and to be completely honest, what happened next is all a bit of a blur to me. Not all of the cult members were happy to see Lana with me. 
I don't know what I could have done to offend them, but they all started shouting and chasing after me. This unfortunately caught Dale's attention. I had no choice but to flee for the sake of my family's safety. Now, this part I remember vividly. Lana was in complete hysterics, talking in a loop about negative and positive electrons and how our parents stole her from her true family at birth. The urgency of the whole situation, let alone the adrenaline, caused me to completely disregard the speed limit. Naturally, I was pulled over. It took a lot of explanation, but after hearing Lana speak, the cops recognized her gibberish and were able to figure out what was happening. The cult was fairly well known in the area, so we were able to get Lana in to see the precinct's counselors. Well, that's an exceptional story. Sounds like you had the right intentions, and you're good on your feet. I'd like to think so. Your family must be proud. So, I got the job. Oh, Glenny, I knew you would. Why do you have to tell them to make that happen? Yeah, seriously. I just told them about my family.